For the first time ever, the Child Health Days campaign is reaching displaced communities in Somalia's Afgoi Corridor, providing at least 46,000 children with a life-saving health package. The Afgoi Corridor is a 30-kilometer stretch of road west of the Somali capital Mogadishu, where more than 500,000 people displaced by conflict have sought refuge. It's one of the places in Somalia where humanitarian access is limited due to extreme insecurity. The campaign in Afgoi is part of a nationwide program supported by UNICEF and WHO to promote child survival in a country where one in every seven children dies before the age of five and routine immunization is amongst the lowest in the world. Every under five child is immunized against measles and polio, diphtheria, whooping cough and tetanus and provided with vitamin A, deworming tablets and nutritional screening. In Afgoi, 37,000 women of childbearing age were immunized against neonatal tetanus. The Child Health Days package also includes oral rehydration salts to treat diarrhea and water purification tablets. This intervention is crucial in a location such as Afgoi, the most densely populated settlement in the world for the displaced. Living conditions are harsh and basic social services like health are scarce. Disease outbreak here would be catastrophic. Our situation is very bad. It's a hard life. I thank God for those who are bringing us these services at home. With UNICEF and WHO support, communities, NGO partners and more than 200 vaccinators and 300 health workers implemented the five-day campaign. People's acceptance for vaccination is getting much better. Now, there are even people coming to my home asking for services. Even in Afgoi, determination and commitment have made this large-scale campaign for Somali children a reality. This is Denise Shepard-Johnson reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.